Okay, the long-awaited video of controls. The very dry topic of understanding double stick deflections, what I currently have set to what axis of the stick, and why. This isn't going to be a super exciting video, guys, but this is, this is at the core of um, your flight combat skills, understanding your controls. Here's what I use. So take it for what it's worth. This may not work for you. However, after some explanation, maybe you'll you'll try to uh, give this a shot and you might find out that it's not so bad. So let's begin. Let's kind of just walk through what all these indicators mean so that you better understand what's going on. So the philosophy I have with the control scheme that I use. So I use two joysticks right hand left hand both constellation verbal alphas both with twist axes my right hand i don't have any twist bound to anything it's just it twists on itself but there's no there's no axis that's bound to it the left hand however does have something bound when i twist my left hand the ship that i'm flying will roll the direction that i twist now for some people that's a bit of a brain fuck because on your right hand, typically when you're flying any kind of airplane, when you deflect the stick left and right, it rolls the fighter. In space, though, I don't really find that to be the case. And with twist, I am more than comfortable having a smooth translational roll with anybody I engage. So the thing to understand about dual sticks is the amount of precision that you are going to have with dual sticks is greater than any other control scheme except for maybe left hand on a stick right hand on a mouse but with the ESP assistance with the fixed assist with the you know the auto convergence that little bit of accuracy increase that you have with mouse I don't believe that it really does have the advantage over the joystick at least not anymore regardless Twist axis for roll. That's what I use. That's what I've been using for many years. I find it to be a fantastic axis for this specifically. So, <coughs> excuse me. What do we use for pitch and yaw? So, when it comes to aiming, I want you to look at the white kind of circle. It's a general area that I want to get myself to. My right hand stick controls my yaw, which is my left and right motion, and my pitch, which is my up and down. My right hand stick, its entire purpose is to get my nose facing towards the enemy as quickly and effectively as I possibly can. And as long as I get close enough, my left hand does the fine tuning. So what do I mean by that? So if we look here, we have four little white lines, each resembling the barrel of the, uh, of the gun that I have on the arrow. Four guns on the arrow, four lines. You'll notice that my fall of shot, where my barrels are pointing, are not exactly perfectly aligned with the lead pip, which is where I should be aiming to get the actual shot to register. With the flight time and the distance that this target's engaging me at, I need to aim a little higher up. Well, what do I do? I can use my right hand stick to pull my nose up onto the target, but a lot of times, I use my left stick and I'll explain when it comes to rotational movements when you're moving your nose of your ship around the ship sometimes can sway there's sometimes a little oversteer some ships will feel a little a little tighter than others and some will feel sloppy as as all hell I mean the buccaneer feels like it's drunk half the time but you fly the arrow and it's like a scalpel it's very precise very responsive so in this situation, we want to get our pip, we want to get our follow shot just a little higher. But I'm thinking, I like where my right hand is, because if he's strafing up in that motion, my right hand is doing a lot of work anyway. It's matching the target uh, movement that the hawk is doing. And so my, my right hand's already doing some movement. So what I want to do now is I just want to push my left stick forward. So my left stick, when I deflect it forward, I strafe up and because it's analog I only need to strafe up let's say I don't know five to ten degrees it's no, you'll see the little green 
what looks like a T shape and it says left stick control distance. And what that is, is I'm not going to touch my right stick any more than I already need to. I've already matched the majority of the movement that the enemy is doing. And the last little bit of assistance I guess I need is I'm going to take my left hand and I'm going to push that little left stick forward just a little bit, just to get my shot perfectly lined up onto the lead pip. Now this, is, this can be translated between any kind of motion, regardless of whether or not it's pitching up, strafing down, pitching right, strafing right, pitching left, strafing right, pitching down, pitching up, like strafing down, pitching up, whatever the combination is, it doesn't matter. My left hand controls the smooth translational motion. And in space, if you're doing your movement correctly, Essentially, your nose should never really leave the target. You're always going to be nose to nose with the enemy unless you're able to get into the slot. But you, as the combat engager, you should always be nosing onto your target. If you've lost your target, it means A, they've either gotten behind you and you need to disengage, or you're typically flying something that's very large, but even then, you're still trying to get yourself back on target. So, left hand, when I pitch forward, I strafe up and depending on how much I pitch that stick it depends on how much my ship is going to strafe up that little bit that I need to make that perfectly accurate shot and that's the difference if I had analog or sorry digital control if I just pressed like the W button it would ask for a 100% pitch like a strafe up which means for a minuscule amount of time for that little bit of time I might be on target but because I'm asking for my arrow to strafe up hard, because it's either 100% or zero with, with, with uh, computer keys, I'm never going to be consistently on the mark. And that's the big difference. Consistency is key. You need to pressure, pressure, pressure as much as you can when it comes to using, uh, you know, when it comes to closing on and getting damage. You see it all the time on stream. You know, I get onto a locate like i get onto a be uh, a bead and i stick to it like like glue like esp helps as well but i stick to it like glue because what's happening is it's a combination of not only my right stick controlling my nose direction but my left stick canceling the motion all like just enough to keep myself on pip and i can adapt as the situation uh uh comes into play so when I pull my left stick back, I strafe down. When I push it to the right, I strafe right. When I push it to the left, I strafe left. Think of it like using an Xbox controller. We've all played Halo. The left stick controls your movement, left, right, up, down, or left, right, forward, back. <coughs> Excuse me. And your right uh, control stick controls your aim. In space, though, your plane is always nosing off at the enemy in the sense that you know, your standard movement should always be nose to nose. So with the left stick controlling up, down, left, and right strafe, as long as you're always nosing off to the enemy, you have perfect, perfect nose accuracy, right? So how do we control our throttle? For me, I use my pedals. So I bought T rudder pedals from VKB. And what I find the best is when I push my right foot in, I go forward. I mean, we've all driven a car. I, I'm at least I'm hoping we've all driven a car and, you know, gas to go, brake to stop. It's very similar. You push your right foot down, you go forward. And as you ease off on that accelerator, you slowly bring yourself back to center. Let's say you're in a position where you want to create some space. Bang, the left foot goes down. And again, the more you push that left foot in, the farther and faster you start to push away. And you can easily gradually keep yourself in range by coming in and out as you see fit. And you have fine analog control over your strafe access forward and back. This is extremely important. It's a, it's a cornerstone to why I feel like I can be so successful against many pilots because they don't have fine, like absolute razor sharp fine control over their throttle. So I'm always able to get that last little 10% of control which leads to more shots on target and again with the dual sticks I can be ex like I can be consistently on the pip and I can always adapt to the small minute changes in movement which give me the kills so I mean that's pretty much all of it uh, we touched on 
why we use the axes the way we do. I touched on what I use for my throttle. And again, guys, I, I say this on stream all the time. As long as you have analog control, and when I mean by analog, I mean not digital, but some kind of precise axis, whether you have forward and back strafe on your left stick, that's fine. But make sure that you have some axis when it comes to your strafe directions. The combination between controlled, precise strafe direction to cancel enemy momentum on top of slow, methodical, and accurate and precise um, pitch and yaw, which I find is nice because on my right stick, it's my aiming stick. So all my nose directions on my right and all my translational movements are on my left as well as my twist so that nothing gets in the way of my trigger. For me, that works the best. Uh, I've been using this control scheme for a long time, and that pretty much is it, guys. Thank you for watching, guys. I'm going to try to, uh, again, stay up to date with all the new stuff. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this content. I hope this was helpful, guys. Please leave a comment if you'd like more of this kind of stuff. I know this was a dry topic. I don't, No action in this one, but uh, it's, a, it's an important one. So get your controls down, Pat. I'll see you all up for stream, and I'll see you in the next video.